Mr. Long Fei, and King has a student named Dai, who is young but misbehaving and misbehaving. One day, Mr. Dai returned from a drink outside and ran into his dead cousin, Jason. Dazen was drunk, dizzy, forgetting that his cousin was dead, and said, Where do you always do things? I'm already dead, have you forgotten? Mr. G replied, Dazen wakes up, knows that he's running into a ghost. But he's drunk and not afraid, and asks, What are you doing in the afterlife? Now, his royal highness roulette is in charge of the roulette wheel, G said. So you must have known the blessings of life? That's my job, how can I not know? It's just that the books are too cumbersome to keep close to people, and I can't remember it, says Mr. Jishing. I ran through the books the other day and saw your name. Mr. Dai heard, rushing to find out what was written on it. Jason replied, I can't hide your name. Your name is in the dark. Dazen was so taken aback that even the wine woke up and begged his cousin to save him. It's something I can't do. It's only in life that good returns. G sighs. How can you save your life if you don't build a good family? But you are a poor schoolboy who has no power to do good. Even if you do good every day from now on, you will not be able to undo your sins for more than a year, so it is too late. I just hope you'll change your mind from here on out and do good, and there may be a little time in hell. Dazen lay crying on the ground and begged his cousin to save him. After a while, looking up, the monkeys were nowhere to be seen, so they returned home sullen. From then on, Mr. Dyson tried his best not to be late again. Before that, Mr. Dazen had clandestine relations with his neighbor's wife. The neighbors, sensing it, refrained from seizures and expected to someday catch him in the act. I never thought Dai Shen would break off his affair with his wife. Neighbors don't get it, they have a grudge. One day, the two met in a field, and a neighbor, pretending to talk to Mr. Dazen, glanced at the dead well, but pushed him down behind his back. I thought Dai was going to die. In the middle of the night, Mr. Dazen woke up, sitting in a well and shouting for help. The next morning, Dai Shen, a neighbor, was afraid to come back to life, and then went to the well to check on the situation. At the exact moment, Dai Shen called for help, and he hurried to the well to throw stones. Mr. Dazen hid in a hole below the well, where the atmosphere was too scared to escape. The neighbor knew he was not dead, so he dug and filled up the well, almost all of it. Dyson crouched in a hole, pitch black, like hell. There's no food in the cave, so I guess it's a dead end. Crawling and crawling deep into the hole, I saw three steps beyond the water, there was no place to go, so I had to go back to sit. At first, I felt hungry, for a long time, I forgot that I was hungry. And then I thought that there was nothing good to do in the cave, so I had to celebrate the Buddha. Seeing the ghost fire and wandering around the hole, I prayed. I hear that the fire is a ghost. I am still alive for a while, but I can't return to life. If we can get together and talk, we can talk to get rid of loneliness. At the end of the prayer, I saw ghosts floating from the water, one person in every fire, half the size of a living person. Asked by Mr. Dai about their provenance, the ghosts replied. This is an ancient coal well. When the owner of the coal well dug up coal, he shook the ancient tombs on the side. He was drowned in the sea, and 43 people drowned. We are all the unjust devils who drown. Dai Sheng asked in surprise, Who is Mr. Long Fei? I don't know, I know that Sam Yun is a bachelor of literature, and is now a curtain man for Cheng Huang. We died of innocence, so we were given porridge every three to five days to feed us. It's just that we've been soaked in cold water, and it's hard to live with it. And if you ever come back to life, you're going to salvage our bones and build a graveyard. And your benevolence will be all over the people beneath the Nine Springs. What's so hard about this if you want to live 10,000 times? Mr. Dai sighs, but under Nine Springs, how can you expect to see the light of day again? I called the Buddha to the Buddha, and I twisted the mud into Buddha beads to write down the number of times I had to recite the Buddha. 
and I don't know if it's dark, sleep when I'm tired, sit, and read Buddhism when I wake up. After a while, a lantern appeared deep in the cave, and the ghosts liked to say, Dragon FLIs to give away food, asked Dazen to come with us. Dazen worried that the water was too deep ahead, and the ghosts dragged him forward, drifting like air. It was about a half mile on the twists and turns that the ghosts let him go. The higher you go up, the higher you go up, like climbing a few high steps. Mr. Dai ascended the stairs to a gallery, where a bright candle was lit, as thick as a child's arm. Dazen had not seen the light for a long time, and at first sight, he was so excited that he rushed over. There's an old man in the hall dressed as a civilian. Mr. Dai was too scared to move on. I don't know you, where'd you come from? Mr. Dai walked up and kneeled on the floor to recount what had happened. Lao Wang said, my grandchildren, get him up, sit down, and say, my name is Dixie Zalongfai. In the past, because I did not show my grandson to wear a church, colluded with bandits, and drove a well near my grave, I was disturbed, so the land and sea flooded them. Now, what about his offspring? It turns out that there are five Dai clans in total, and Dai is the head of the family. Once upon a time, one of the county's biggest men bribed Dai Tang to mine coal from a well near his ancestral grave. The Dai brothers fear Dai Tang, but they do not dare not follow him. After a short period of digging, groundwater suddenly surged out, drowning all the miners in the well. The relatives of the deceased fought a joint lawsuit, and Dai Tang and the large household went bankrupt and impoverished leaving his children and grandchildren in no position to fight. Dai Shen is the descendant of Dai Tang's younger brother, and told Lao Weng after hearing the old people talk about it. Lao Weng said, such unworthy descendants, how can his descendants flourish? If you're here, don't forget to read. So, after Mr. Dai had eaten enough, he took a book and put it on the table, all in eight strands of text for him to study. Another question to test his essay like a juke student. The candles in the lobby don't have to be cut, don't die, and stay lit for a long time. I sleep when I'm tired, and I can't tell when it's morning or evening. Sometimes when Lao Wang goes out, he sends a child servant to help him. Mr. Dyson felt like he had survived years without suffering. There are only 108 books, each written more than 4,000 times. One day, Lao Weng said to him, You are full of evil, and you will return to earth soon. My grave is close to the coal hole, and the wind is very windy, so you have to move it to the east of the village later. Mr. Dyson respectfully agreed. The old men called the ghosts and told them to send Dazen back to the original place. Back in the same place, the ghosts kept telling us how to get out, and Dyson didn't know how. Since Mr. Dai's sudden disappearance, the family has been searching and searching, and has not been seen. His mother sued the officials, arrested a lot of people for interrogation, still no clues. After three or four years, the officers left and the search was let go. Mr. Dai's wife has also been remarried. Someone in the village rectified the original coal well and went into the hole, and found Dai, who was still alive and frightened and then told his family and carried him back. A day later, Mr. Dazen would not speak, detailing what had happened. After Mr. Dai's fall, the neighbor shot his wife again, was arrested by his father-in-law and taken out of prison for more than a year, skinny. I heard Dazen came back to life. He was so scared that he ran away. Dai Sheng's ethnic group discussed taking the neighbor and convicting him, but Dai Sheng refused to allow it saying that it was a self-inflicted punishment in the past, which had nothing to do with the neighbor. The neighbor sensed that he was harmless and hesitated to return. After the water dried up in the coal well, Mr. Dai paid someone to go into the hole and pick up the remains of the ghosts, bought a coffin and found a place to bury them together, and check the genealogy and find a Dai Kion, whose name is Long Fei, and make a sacrifice to the ancestral grave. After hearing about Dai's strange encounter, the Maoist admired his writing, 
and asked him to take part in the local experiment with honors. Mr. Dai planted graves in the eastern part of the village and moved Mr. Long's tomb to a thick burial. And then the spring and autumn went to the tomb, year after year. Alright, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.